All right, so I'll get to Cold War, but first I want to say some stuff. I love Call of Duty. I get it every single year, and I put at least 24 hours of playtime into it every single year, and sometimes way more. I want to get this out of the way first because I'm not some huge YouTuber with a massive leg up in this race. I'm small, you see. My subs are low, you see. So I want to get that out of the way first. I've been playing COD for like ever, and I always sink time into COD more than most of the shooters and games in general. I bring this up to quickly show my credentials and say, yeah, I played it a bit and I know what I'm talking about. But I do want to say some opinions I've had about the past Call of Duty games before I start. That's going to cause some light controversy, but hey, if you're already here, then you obviously just want some opinions that are potentially different from your own. Or you just want confirmation bias. Either way. This may or may not make you click off the video though. I don't really like the Treyarch COD games as much recently. Black Ops 3 and 4, I played the least out of all the COD games released this generation, and I do not like the pick 10 system or 3 lane map design in most Treyarch games. I know that's going to be controversial, so I wanted to say it up front. I also think that Modern Warfare is probably the greatest COD game to come out in years, and one of the greatest games just ever made. But we're here today to talk about Cold War, so that's what we shall talk about. In this beta, I got to the level cap, and I recorded some of my earlier matches, so that's what you're going to be seeing here. I went back and messed around with the other weapons and played for around 10 hours or so. I'll say up front that there's more bad than good, and I also put some mixed things in here and separated it by the good, the bad, and the mixed. Because while I did have some fun with the game, it has some serious flaws. So let's get into it. The game actually plays pretty good. The movement being faster works with the faster gunplay and snappier movement, and the guns themselves feel really good to handle. The guns themselves are overall good as well, the variety is super solid, each one feels unique and like it has its own spot to fit into. The perk system's pretty well balanced and fits together as well, and the wildcard system works very well alongside this new perk system to allow you to have a little bit of extra flair while not going completely overboard. The skill slash kill streaks are in a pretty good place and the new system works really well overall, just because it prevents absolutely curb stomping players while still giving everyone a chance to play around with the awesome kill streaks. The time to kill is also in a pretty good place, and I absolutely love the combined arms brought back momentum. The game modes in it just feel pretty good overall. And to be honest, that's all I've got for the good. So we're moving on to the bad. After playing it for almost 10 hours, I'm not enjoying it, which really sucks because I want to. I love the theme of it, I love the weapons of it, I enjoy the setting and style, and all of it just looks really good, but none of it's landing how I want it to. But I'm not gonna sit here and bitch and moan, I'm instead gonna try to give constructive criticism about the game, I'm not just sitting here to trash on it, but giving my opinion on what is bad, what should change, and ideas on how it needs to change. The netcode is bad. I played every COD game, and I even played Battlefield 4 at launch. This is shit netcode on the level of Battlefield 4. It just doesn't add up, and it feels bad. I've been shot after I run around corners, and I've shot directly into enemies and not killed them. It's just absurd. You can see tons of examples of this on the subreddit right now. The weapons, animations, shooting, overall feel very lackluster in terms of pure looks and sound. They feel fake to use, especially when compared to previous Call of Duty games, even like Black Ops 4. The guns still feel good to actually shoot, but they just look off when reloading and stuff like that. This translates into the movement as well. Enemies and the animations they have for movement just looks like they're sliding around while running in place. It just looks off. The overall movement doesn't feel great either. The sliding turns to mock speed and the sprint out thing just doesn't really work and you can barely tell it's happening. I saw someone else say that this isn't the boots on the ground that they think we're wanting from Call of Duty. This is just a super fast paced older Call of Duty, but they don't let you double jump now. And honestly, that's really how it feels. You move so fast from sliding around and jumping and stuff, but none of it actually translates properly and none of it makes sense. It's not the boots on the ground we wanted. It's them trying to quickly rush together and cobble together the boots on the ground they think we want. It's really difficult as well to tell with this movement how you can get around the map. It's impossible to tell what you can climb and what you can't. Like here on satellite, I didn't even know you could climb this until I watched someone do it because it's like a sheer cliff face that kind of caves in around you and it's like 15 feet tall. I had no idea you could just easily jump up that. It makes no sense. 
Speaking of satellite, the spawning on maps is just bad, with satellite being the worst, but contraband being a close second. I legitimately had a match where I spawned in and walked forward into an enemy looking towards a different direction towards my spawn. I killed them only to have an enemy kill me from behind, only to then spawn behind that enemy. It is completely wild and the spawning is just straight up horrible. Operators being the same on each side at a glance can really throw people off and throw off aim like oh No, that's woods. My team is woods. No, it doesn't matter Every enemy can look exactly the same. You could have an entire match of woods versus woods It doesn't matter and it's definitely not gonna work well in hardcore mode Also, what's up with the gunsmith? Why does the shortest barrel on the AK and M4 add the most range? This makes no sense. It's a pure visual thing also, why do some items say they add ammo when they don't? Why does the flashlight say it adds ammo that just needs to be changed and fixed? I know this was a lot to complain about, but honestly, these are things that I think straight up make the game worse overall. It plays really well, and the movement and shooting does work together, but it's all these little nitpicky things that, when added together, can completely ruin an experience, even though I fully admit they are little nitpicky things. Enough of those can ruin it. There's a couple things I'm mixed about, and I want to talk about those as well. The skill-based matchmaking is something I'll actually be making a full video on in the future, but honestly, I think it's mostly fine in this game from what I've seen and played. The aim assist I've just found is way off. It makes sense. They tried to focus up hard to get better aim assist on console to compete with the PC, but I'll be honest and tell you that coming from Modern Warfare, you didn't need to do that. If a console player is good enough, they can destroy the average PC player. And by good enough, I mean the average PC player versus the average console player. It's the same. As much as PC players like to think they're better, they're not always. The maps are hit or miss, but we're already in the beta with dudes saying, hey, if you're going to vote this map, just get out. Anyone in this lobby like fucking Armada, please fucking leave, you fucking deep sea diver. Yeah, I picked Crossroads. That's a sign. The game was also crashing for me a bit, but I don't really know if that's a me problem or what it was. Also, this is mixed, but I don't think Fireteam's a good alternative for Warzone. I can see why people might want to play a game that's like Warzone, but with the Black Ops shooting style, but I don't really think it works as a good alternative. The same for Combined Arms and Ground War. I think it's pretty fun, but it's not the best alternative for how big and chaotic Ground War was with a proper Battlefield style map. Now I did say I wouldn't just be sitting here shitting on the game consistently, so I do have some ways I think they could improve it. This same netcode issue happened for Black Ops 4. Just don't do it again. How are you doing it again? I don't understand. In Black Ops 4, the beta ran at 60 hertz server tick rate. The actually release game was at 20 hertz server tick rate. I don't know why that is. The alpha felt fine. Why doesn't this beta feel fine? It makes no sense. Just fix it. Why are you doing this again? Do another pass over for the weapons. Like, get the animations better and up to spec. These obviously aren't the final ones because you literally changed one of the guns from the alpha that the YouTubers were playing to the alpha we played to this beta. Obviously these aren't finalized. So this might be a moot point, but do another pass over, have one dude do all the little tweaks he needs to make them all feel consistent and good, because right now they just don't. Some look way better than others. While you're on that, redo the sound. That's easier said than done, but I think it needs to happen to make the guns look and feel better overall. Also change the movement. We need to be slowed down while sliding and crouch walking. It's insane how fast and snappy it is. And while that is a good thing that people enjoy, you can keep that speed for sprinting and moving around, Right now, you just feel kind of floaty with it though, and it really just doesn't work. Also, just add a clamber button. We used to have this in older Call of Duties. Press A to clamber and like climb over, and it's just gone. And I don't know why, because it means that I can't tell what I can actually climb over. This, just, just put it back. You're also, you're not a small studio, so like these spawns, just fix it. This is not your first Call of Duty, this is not your first rodeo. I don't think I need to tell a AAA studio that has literally millions of dollars that they need to fix something. I get they're rushed, I get they were rushed, but hey, we're the ones paying for the product and we don't deserve to have a product that's not up to spec. 
and just make the gunsmith make sense. It's a pure visual thing. Make the longer barrels have more range. It's just totally visual. You literally just swap the models and you're done. This, it's not hard, it's easy. Like, I've swapped models in games. This is an easy fix. You did great in giving us actual stats in Gunsmith. Now just make the bars work and make it all look visually right. Like, a longer barrel means that the bullet has a higher velocity and can travel further. This is basic ballistics. Anyone who knows anything about guns, even a baseline knowledge of guns, is going to know that's how that works. They're going to know it's off. Those are just a couple things you can do to improve it. But honestly, this game should be delayed. It has so many problems, the player base as a whole just seems to not be liking it much. This may be the first Call of Duty game I actually skip at launch, which is insane to think about. I talked to my roommate and he joked when we started like, oh, this game's just bad. But after playing it for an hour, he said, nah, I'm quitting. And he uninstalled it and he was done. I had another friend while I was trying to just further form my opinion, ask me to join them and I did. And it was him and three other dudes. They all just hated it. The dude even left for a minute and talked to his brother, who's like a Fortnite fanboy who just plays Call of Duty all the time. Even he said it's shit. I don't know anyone who's actually liking this beta, and that is mind-blowing to me. I love Call of Duty, but this game has had a horrible time getting made, and honestly, it just needs far more time to be worked on. It's both too many cooks in the kitchen, and not enough time cooking. I understand that you guys have been rushed if you're working on the game, and you're watching this, you're probably not. I understand that it's been rough. I understand that this has been difficult as a game to work on and make, but it needs to be delayed. You guys could make this into a great game, and I'm excited to see what you could potentially do with it, but if this is what we're about to get next month, it is not going to be loved by fans, and it is not going to be thought of fondly at all. For this to be the first next-gen Call of Duty is honestly a disgrace to the Call of Duty name. I hope I wasn't too hard on the game. I did just really trash it at the end there, but honestly, this game is not up to spec for what it needs to be. I'm not having fun with it. I don't know anyone who is having fun with it. I think this needs some more time. Hey, thanks for watching my video. This one was pretty quickly thrown together. I just wanted to make a quick, oh, here's my opinions on this beta because a couple of people were asking me to. I'm sure I was way harsher on this game than it probably even deserves, but I wanted to be as honest as I could and completely lay out how I feel. I do have some other videos planned in the future, so I hope you stick around and if you enjoy my content, you can leave a subscribe. Hey, if you like my stuff, cool. I plan on doing more. If you don't, you can just unsubscribe later. Thanks for watching.